Hey, what's going on guys? So it's been about two weeks now since I've been using the OnePlus Nord N30. So I kind of wanted to share my experience with using this device overall and how it feels in the hand, the design, build quality, first and foremost. Then I also wanted to jump into the cameras as well as the audio quality in this phone. And then we're gonna jump into the performance and gaming. And then last but not least, we're gonna do some battery life. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new. But make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video and make sure you don't um, miss anything. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. So the first thing I wanted to talk about when it comes to this device is the overall build quality. And so you're going to be getting a plastic back, which is actually going to be prone to some scratches. And so it's going to give you a really solid, um, you know, frame, which is going to be like a metal type of feel but it's actually plastic but um it does feel like it's an aluminum frame on there you also do get a pretty large screen as well which we'll get into in a little bit more detail but the corners on here are rounded and sharp on the edges so it feels really good in the hand and so i haven't been really using this device too much with the case on it but i do actually have to put the case on it because it will prevent scratches from happening on the back of the device so um, this device has a 6.7 1080 by 2400 pixel um, density and it's also going to give you 108 megapixel around back which is pretty cool and we're going to jump into the camera form in just a second but the body of this device is actually pretty decent when it comes to the weight it's 109 grams of weight overall so it's going to be pretty feel pretty sturdy when you're using it in one hand um, it gives you an always um, no always on display on here because the N30 doesn't have an AMOLED display, but it's actually using an IPS LCD display with 120 hertz. And it's got Oxygen 13.1 with Android 13 and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G with 6 nanometer processing speed. So the punch hole on the front is actually a nice little cutout on the front. So it looks really nice um, when you're looking at media content on here, especially on the large display. And the display is actually really zippy and it feels really fast when you're using this device. And that's because it's going to have, uh, you know, a decent amount of memory at eight gigabytes with the 128 gigabytes of internal storage inside of it. So it's going to be pretty cool when it comes to the overall storage capacity because you can actually expand it as well to one terabyte which is going to give you enough storage to have for like pictures videos that will be loaded directly to the sd card and so this device does have a lot of performance um features that are actually pretty cool so uh it's kind of going to give you a ton of different features on here which we'll probably do a separate video on so uh dump jumping into the after we talked about the you know body of this device and overall build quality as well the display as well is going to give you a nice punchy contrast when it comes to the colors it's got 391 pixels per inch as well and so i definitely think that the overall display is going to be pretty solid it's just that it's lacking dark blacks and so you won't get those deep blacks that you get on the n20 and so it's that's because it, we're going to be not getting that oled or amoled display or whatever but it's actually a pretty decent display once you start getting used to it and use it on a regular basis after two weeks i've definitely been enjoying the overall user experience when it comes to the performance as well because on games with um this device it's actually going to be pretty cool i was playing genshin impact real racing 3 and i was also playing and um, some PUBG on this device and it was running pretty smooth so I'll definitely do a dedicated gaming test but I definitely think that the performance is going to be pretty quick as well when it comes to this device now when it comes to the photos on this device I'll make sure I leave some samples so you can see what I'm talking about but the photos on this device actually come out extremely um, you know detailed and they're going to offer a really nice realistic look of everything that you're depicting especially when it comes to skin complexions i noticed that it did a pretty decent job when it came to looking at the color of people's skin and stuff like that and also mapping out the different contrasts it did have some pretty decent colors to it which gave it a nice realistic effect and so it wasn't like the punchy saturated colors that you would get on like some other devices that kind of over um 
you know, punch when it comes to the contrast. Uh, it's not going to give you uh, 4K recording, but it'll give you 720, 30 on the front and rear. And you're also going to get steady recording so you can take shots at a decent amount of, you know, what I mean, like uh, when it comes to the overall stability, it's going to be pretty good. So I definitely think that's going to be a solid camera experience, especially with the night photography that you're going to be getting to and the 108 megapixel camera which is going to be loaded on this device that you can actually use when you jump into the extra hd feature on this device so really good cameras with this thing also a really good uh, amount of storage you also can use you know the virtual ram which is going to allow you to steal some of the storage from your internal and and you know what i'm saying transfer it to the ram so it's going to give you some pretty decent amount of performance when it comes to using this device and so after two weeks i've definitely been impressed with the overall features and you know the price was 299 so it was definitely a pretty decent amount of money but you know it's got a lot of features that i can use on here that make it worth it with the performance to price ratio you get nfc as well for mobile payment screencasts and like all your features that you would normally need on here so the battery life from the n30 is actually pretty good i actually get more than a day so by the end of the day i actually am left with about 40 percent most of the time so i can actually move use this device into the next one and still go through half of the day with it so it's about a day and a half when it comes to my performance while using it when it comes to the battery life but i definitely think that it does give you a really solid experience when it comes to the battery because you're not really like looking at the battery drain on here most of the time because of how battery efficient it is and there's is an a mode that will optimize your usage inside of the settings which i'll jump into in another video but i definitely think that mode is going to actually reduce battery drain as well because it's going to map out your user experience with it so i'm going to jump into more detail later on but thank you for watching and i'll get right back with you but if you made it to the end of the video if you made it this far just want to remind you to hit the like button and also just type i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me but let me know what you guys think about the oneplus and 30 okay i'll check you guys later peace